here again you know I want to tell y'all before we start a tutorial or any other type of videos I want to show y'all what are the main clippers that you could use since you're a beginner barber and what are some styling products that you can get for whenever I showed you one of my face that I do you can do them too and some some of the clippers you can use now out of my station my first go-to clippers that I would tell y'all to get if you're a beginner barber are first the magic clips these because they're pretty cheap they won't look like this with these freaking clear covers they'll come with a cover like this one come with like this one right here and it'll say a magic clip right here cordless these will come up to you for like maybe like a hundred bucks they are pretty cheap bit more money than a hundred bucks and you want to go better than the magic clips I do suggest you either get the wall seniors cordless these are a little bit better and a little bit more pricier these are like will run you like maybe like 140 150 depending on where you get them now these it has a stronger motor than the magic clips and they would fade better for me I guess I use them to debulk and all that, all that. Now for trimmers, I only have three, and it's the same brand and everything. It's just maybe the skeletons. These are better. They're pricey, but it's worth it. They're better for cutting corners. They're actually powerful and powerful. And if you adjust them right, they hit real good. Now as my last video, I've shown you I have the red and gold one. I have the blue and silver, and then I have the all silver. The all silver uh, is already like adjusted. It's kind of like zero gapped already too. They hit pretty good. So if you can get the whole of those, maybe run you like maybe 150 or not like 200, depending on where you don't have. If you don't have enough to pay for those, then I suggest you get either the Andes T outliners or the Andes Slim Life Pros. I don't have those because I gave them away, but I'll pop up, a, I'll search up a picture and I'll show y'all how, how they look like and what's the price range and all that. Um, for sure, the Slim Life Pros, those cost like maybe the Slim Life Li, my bad. Those cost like 70 bucks. Same goes with the Andes cordless t outliners cause around the same price range so you can get either one of those two it work perfectly fine yeah and if you adjust them they're sharp they hit them and everything now for a shaver i have the Babyliss pro shaver all blue really great Strong, gets into really tight spaces and makes the skin completely bald. This is the only shaver I use. I have another one, but it's in my uh, mobile barber case where I do house cuts and I'll have a second one. Mine, the other one's red, this one's blue. It gets the job done and it's kind of pricey. Both of these came at the, at the same box for like maybe like 200. So if you can get both of them, it's a win-win. But if you only get separate, then it's up to you, bro. But get one of these. Or you can just get the Andes one, too. The Andes, I started off with the Andes, and they work really great, too. The Andes is 
pretty cheap and it's worth it. I don't even know what the price range is, but I, I suggest this blue one over here, the Babylon's Pro. Now that we went through all the clippers that you need that you can start off with at the price range and everything the next thing that you need to complete your bubble kit as a beginner are guards these are compatible to any of the clippers that i've told you to get these are great you need them even if you are a barber a cosmetologist the ones that work at sport clips or whatever you need these if not there's no way to complete a freaking haircut these run through to a 0.5 all the way to an eight. Not all of them go like that, and you gotta get the point, the half, the one guard, or the one and a half separate, but you need these. The next tool you need is a razor. I have the triple cartridge 245 razor with the blade explode, exposed that much right there like that. And I use the Derby Professionals. These are really sharp. These, you can get them all online on the 245.com or you can get them at a nearby supplies, supplies, barber supply store. But the straight razor, you need it to, whenever you do the lineup or anything, or even in the design, these are really great to uh, do those little lines, keep them nice and well, instead of doing it with the freaking shaver, that's better and you'll get crispier lineups too and some clients prefer it that way. Some barbers don't do it, I don't know why, but that's two more. That's like another tool for to keep it bald. Next thing you need for to complete your barber kit are brushes. You can get these type of brushes to fade out the hair when you're really cutting. You can get these. I use this one because it's a little bit softer than this one. I use this one for beards whenever do I do like color enhancements or anything. And I, then I use a separate one to clean out all the hairs of my clippers. These will cost you like maybe like a dollar or two. Very cheap. You can get them at a Sally's or Jenny's beauty supply store or a barber supply store. But they, the barber supply store usually have these a lot. And these, very cheap. But you need now the next tool is a must. You need to wipe off all the hair whenever you're done by a client. Take it off all their faces because I know nobody wants no hair around the neck or anything like that. So you need neck dusters. I have like four because they're different. But I have this one here just to take it off of their face. It's very, very quick. But if that doesn't do the work, then I use this one. It has the bristles a little bit hard, but they're still softer, and it's way easier to take them off. Just put a little bit of talc powder. Also, you need that talc powder. If the, the when you can't leave this out without the neck dusters, it smells good, and it helps to take out all the little hairs off their necks, their ears, and their face, and they can go off clean. Also, for your barbecue, I've been showing you a lot of things. But this is a must and a necessity. You need barber capes and sanding strips. I have a Louis barber cape. I use it almost every day. If not, I'll use these. I have the Mexico. I have the ones with a whole bunch of little mustaches. I have a Gucci one back here. Yeah. You need barber capes and then sanding strips to go with the barber cape. You can't have no hairs going through between the barber cape and the skin for whenever you're applying and whenever you're cutting their, their hair and everything. So, and I know you have the neck duster for it, but it's always better to secure it with the neck strips. Now the next things you need well, even though, first of all, you need everything I'm telling you right now. So make sure you have everything that I'm telling you, bro. Because if not, you won't be able to cut hair. Now you can, with or without something, but these are necessary, bro. I know it costs a penny to be a barber, but it's doable, bro. 
and then plus it's a lot of fun i like it but these are the next tools you need are combs i use this one it's a metal comb these teeth right here are a little bit more separate than these but i always comb through the hair with this one it's metal and it's way better than the plastic ones especially when with it's uh textured hair and all that it goes through it real easily and then whenever i'm going into the clippers it's like real smooth now but if you get another comb like this one this one has the parting at the end and you can part the hair whenever you're doing with the scissors i use scissors with this one because i can just part the hair in three sections and then just cut it with that part it with this little end now the third comb that you need is for a clipper of comb or a fading comb is this one this one's a babyless pro comb it's metal too i have the other one why well, don't i give it to one of my friends chris if you're watching this uh he has the rose gold one that is kind of like this but it's just the same color but this was the clipper of a comb for it works really great and it's metal so it got it gathers a whole bunch of hair and all i gotta do is just cut it with this with this so i pick it up and i cut it or if not i can just do it up same thing but you need these three things i mean these three combs now another one is hairspray there's no excuse for this you can use it for lineups for styling the hair Literally every, anybody in your household has some of this. Either your sister, your mom, your grandma, anybody, bro. Freaking, you need this and you have to have it. Buy one and not tell your sister or your grandma or your mom that I'm borrowing or whatever, but you need hairspray, bro. And it's for your lineups to get them crispier or whenever you're styling the hair at the very end of the cut, you can style it, it'll keep it nice and solid. Now this, since so we're talking about sprays now, you need this one, this spray. I should have mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but I forgot until now. But it's the Andes Cool Care. This is to disinfect any of your clippers before a freaking haircut and after a haircut. Every time you do it, you gotta spray it on, bro. You gotta disinfect your clippers or not. It'll just be rusty, it'll be all fucked up. But with this, it'll keep it nice and smooth. The blade will be messed up and they'll run perfectly. Now another spray that you need is aftershave. This one's the aftershave cologne. It won't sting, but it does does the same thing as this one right here, the aftershave club man. This one does sting, but I put it in this little spray thing mist up pouring it in a napkin or whatever i just sprayed over it and then this one smells good and still uh, does the same thing but it won't sting but this one i prefer using this one because it smells way better and then everybody i don't know why but they love it when it stinks whenever it freaking burns your freaking skin or whatever but i don't whenever i have kids i use this one whenever i have kids to cut this one's like ten dollars and I use this one because uh, then at the very end they won't complain or if not they won't cry because it stings a lot. Whenever you do use the edgers, I mean the edges of fucking trimmers, or use the razor on them or anything, just use that. It's the same thing, but it won't burn them. Now for styling products. I have two that I use. I have a gel and I have a pomade. The gel that I use is the Rich Luxury Styling Gel from Rick Ross smells really great i get a lot of compliments about this gel they love it. it smells really good on their hair now for the pomade i use the suavecito pomade firm hold this one's like 12.99 this one the, the gel i think it's like 10 bucks but both of these really great you can get your hands on them bro you'll 
you have love. The smell is like really great too, bro. Now, there's a, there is one more styling product that I use, and that is Slick Gorilla Powder. Whenever you have like a crop top or anything that you want to style and you don't want to use no gel or no pomade or anything and you want that dry, nice texturized look, and use this, bro. Just do a little texturizing with the scissors and at the very end, dry the hair, put this on, all over it, get in between the little hairs and everything and style it up, bro. Perfect. Masterpiece, I'm telling you. Now on my last video that I did, on my first video that I did, I forgot to show y'all what I had, but this is a good time to bring it out and show you, but you need this too. There, y'all can find it, see me. My fucking night is bad, bro, holy fuck. But yeah, you need this. I forgot to show y'all, and it's the clip roll to oil up all your clippers, bro. You need it. Can't forget it. Because if not, your clippers will be fucking up. They'll be overheating. Well, the overheating is for the cool care. The cool care will cool it down, but still, it will be pulling a whole bunch of hairs. If you don't have the cool care and the clipper oil, your clippers are not gonna run right. So you need both of those. And that's literally it. That's all for a beginner barber that you need. Of course, you need a barber case to hold everything in for travel and everything whenever you have a station or not whenever you're doing a mobile car or anything. But that, those are all the tools that you need. Hopefully, my next video that I post will be a haircut tutorial, but I just need to find some right clients or if not, I'll just record on the first client that comes up with me. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped a lot of y'all. And if y'all got any questions, comment down below. Let me know. I'll put my Instagram right here. And hopefully y'all enjoyed. Subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Hopefully it helps y'all a lot. Have a good day.